guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm simply going to show you guys how i apply fake lashes to my real lashes to give it a much more full look but also make it look natural right um we're not going to be putting on lash strips um i have these trio lashes that i like to use you see this pack is pretty much gone but i have more over here I use the trio as well as the single lashes. So this brand that I like using is the Ardell Duro Lash. Ardell Duro Lash, you guys can see that on there, right? And this pack has different lengths. So you guys can see the short, medium, medium, and long, right? This other pack that I have, the Trio one, the Knotted Flare Trio, it's all long. So I really like using the long because um, I like my lashes to look full. I like my lashes long. And also, you know, this is another way of, let's say you didn't want to go get your lashes done. You didn't want to get the lash extensions. You can go ahead and buy you a pack of these they're like $2.99 at the beauty supply store or Walmart, Target. You can find them any one of those places, right? So this is the pack that I like to use. Um, I also sometimes like to get different um, brands as well. I have this one. This pack is pretty much, you know, the eyelashes is all messed up, but this is the Envy. Envy pack, it's, it's pink. It looks kind of white, but it's a pink package. And um, these, the difference between these ones is that they're a little bit more darker. You can see on here, it says ultra black flare long. I don't know if you can see that. Let me move this eyelash out the way. Ultra black flare long. And then the brand is Envy. So you guys definitely can tell that I like to get the long eyelashes. I want, like I said, I want my lashes to be full, but let's just go ahead and get into this video so I can show you guys what I do and how I do it, right? So first of all, you are going to need a tweezer. You're going to need a tweezer and you are going to need some lash glue. Sometimes, not even on cap, I do like to use um, the hair glue. Um, to me, it works perfectly fine. It do not pull out my eyelashes and just let water run on your eyes and then the, the eyelashes are gonna come off themselves, right? Without pulling out your real eyelashes. Let's get into this video. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna use the rest of these eyelashes and then I'm going to move on to the next pack. So I'm going to just pull, I'm just gonna pull the eyelash off with my fingers, right? And then let me get my glue ready. So I'm going to be using the top and just place some glue on top of here. Just like that. Take, take my eyelash. Here it is. The eyelash is like this. And so you want to make sure that you put glue on the top because when you apply the eyelash it's going on the bottom of my eyelash right here not on the top on the bottom because you want to make sure that it looks as natural as possible so i'm going to go ahead and apply the glue on the top of the eyelash and how I do that is take this and go like this. Just dip it on there and make sure it's getting the, the top, but just the bottom, right? You don't want to get it all on the eyelash, just the bottom. And then let's say if I got some on the back side, I'm going to just simply scrape that off by doing this. Now that that's ready, I'm going to go ahead and apply this eyelash. 
And you want to make sure that it lines up with your eye as well. I'm not even going to lie, I can't see. Also, make sure you guys are holding up your top eyelid so that you can be able to see the bottom of your eyelash better. Then once you have applied your eyelash to where you want it, you want to make sure that you just apply a little bit of pressure and just push down on the eyelash to make sure that it stays. I got this first eyelash on there and I'm just using the other side of my tweezer to push it down and apply it. Um, Put some pressure down on it to make sure that it's stuck on there. Let's go ahead and put the next one on. And then for the next eyelash, you want to make sure that you get as close to the previous one. You don't want any gaps in between. And then just like the last one, you want to put a little pressure to it, push it down to make sure that it's secure. And if you get any um, glue on the tweezer, make sure you remove it because you do not want your tweezer to be sticky. And y'all see how I am approaching my eye with the eyelash very slow. You guys want to make sure that you are taking this process very, very slow. Take your time because you do not want to accidentally get any glue on your eye, you know, anywhere else on your eyelashes. Just take your time with this. Do not rush this process. You want to make sure you take your time so that these lashes can turn out perfectly and also because these lashes will stay on your eyes for about a week um speaking from personal experience my lashes have last up to about a week to two weeks and so i really like doing knees and putting these lashes on my eyes rather than using the lash strips which you'll have to do every single day and so without having to worry about you know putting on lash strips every day you can do this and it can definitely save you some time and money as well I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I also hope that you are learning something and taking something away from this video. Or if you have questions, make sure you go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. Make sure you guys continue to watch this video and watch the entire video all the way until the end so you can see the full process and you'll be able to see the finished look.
So y'all see, the first time you try to put on an eyelash, it may not stay, it may not stick, but do not give up, do not get discouraged because, you know, it may just be some glue that is on the tweezers or you may not have enough glue on your eyelash. So just try again and the second time it will work, right? Just keep trying, do not give up because I know that this process is um, time consuming and you have to have a lot of patience with this especially if this is something that you are trying for the first time you definitely want to be patient with this and also if you are somebody who do not even know how to put on lash strips but I'm pretty used to this I've been doing this for a minute now and if I was like actually up using a mirror to do this instead of like my camera I probably would do this within 10 to 15 minutes or less like it does not take me that long at all now you guys can see the difference between the two eyes here's one eye with no lashes and then the other eye is the one that I just did um, and then shortly you guys will see the finished look but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in and I will catch you all on the next one